The red pill problem. Warning, consuming the substance will lead to toxic high life. Let's listen to this. He can't come up gas like beard. Like, yeah, I got a beard. I don't give a shit. It's beard, you know. Yeah. The shit grows out your chin, you know. It, it just it happens. No. You shape it up, man. No, nah, but Why they, these I mean, this, bro? this is their whole life. Everything flows around their beard, you know. I've I've seen them, you know. Well, do you know what the red pill movement is? You guys, it sounds like you guys don't really understand what it is. Well, please enlighten us, since we're just idiots sitting up here. I didn't say that. I didn't say around. that. I've I did not zero, say that. I've done zero. I've done zero uh, research on it. Please enlighten us, man. <laughs> we're such idiots here. The floor is yours. Well, yeah, do you know? You know where it comes from, right? You know where the whole thing spawns no, from: no, red no, pill, blue going, pill. You're going. You're not going to ask us any questions about you know where you know how. No, we're going to sit down at your feet, Mr. Professor, and you're going to tell us exactly what it's all about. Damn. You were just you were just saying the other guy was like bad faith for saying shit in chat, and now you guys are doing okay, the same shit? get out of your feelings. This is your moment what? to teach somebody. <laughs> this is your moment to teach us. This is your moment. What? <laughs> Break it down, bro. <laughs> oh, my God. What? <laughs> who's acting like a bitch right now? <laughs> what, dude? And who's acting like a bitch right now? You want the big screen so we can... Yeah, get the big... Give me the big screen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry, man. Not dude, I platform. didn't... I didn't know. I didn't realize it was a comedy stream. Um, So, the, the, I mean, I think your, your concerns are valid with, like, you know, with previous guests or whatever. Like, I, I come across people like that all the time. Um. But I think the, the bigger thing with, with red pilling is, is, I mean, I think it's, I don't think it's a bad thing because people have felt that over, you know, let's say the past 10 years or so that they've been like living in this sort of alternate reality, the matrix, you know, that again, the blue pill, red pill thing. And the red pilling thing, I don't think it's, nece I don't think it's intrinsically bad because they feel like they're, they're getting doses of reality and it's pulling them back away from things they thought were true evidence of things that like oh hey like I, I was told that this was right you know and it's like you know it's plain as day like whether it's a clickbait headline in a news article or whatever um I, now i don't disagree i think the red i think the red pill in some respects has gone far you know i think fresh and fit those guys are clowns i think pearly things is i think she's an idiot um but like there is i wouldn't say it's a problem overall i think it's important that people get brought back to reality and understand that they've been played in a lot of ways. And, and, and especially when it comes to like media shit, like m media has come out like aggressively in the past year saying, yeah, we pretty much lied to you. We told you all this shit. It was fake. And, uh, <laughs> sorry about that. So, I mean, people's questioning the reality isn't a bad thing. And I think everyone okay, should be doing so I gave you two minutes. I give you two minutes to, to talk about generalities. Now, now drill down a little deeper on the specifics. Well, recently, some people from NPR, there was an interview done with uh, Barry Weiss on the Free Press. Um, he came out and discussed how when Trump was elected, they were they knew that their that whatever evidence they had of Trump being tied to Russia collusion and all that stuff was actually was so thin but it was so popular that they ran with it anyway because they were they're basically running with Adam Schiff and he was like their their boy they were just sort of propping up anything he said i mean they did this stuff with they did stuff with covid as well they exaggerated things on covid i'm not like so extreme on that stuff but you know there there's instances of that but a lot of it a lot of the stuff was centered around trump like if if i were to say i was red pilled like it was because i was lied to about the things that trump was involved in what he said, um, and it just sort of trickled down from there. So tell us, I mean, give, give us your, I mean, if you, if you had 30 seconds to tell us exactly what red pill, because you haven't done that yet, summarize in 30 seconds what red pill is. Red pill means that you've been exposed to ideas outside of what has been told is the norm, and it is, it is pulled you back to reality. Okay. Mm -hmm. Specifically what? Like any of those, like, so again, so the, the most specific example I can give you of like me being red pilled was, um, was Trump's talk about being, uh, um, oh my God, now, now I can't even think of it when he was talking about how there was very fine people on both sides 
um, that whole speech, that was totally edited out of context. Um, and when, but the full quote was, and I think everyone should know this at this point, is that there is good people on both sides. I'm not talking about the, the neo-Nazis. They should be condemned totally. Like he totally condemned them and the news ran with the story that he was sympathizing with them. And that was like, to me, it was like, holy shit, they just blatantly lied and made him look like he was actually saying, oh, they're good people when he didn't say that. Red, do you have anything? Because I got no. Well, yeah, no, I, yeah. So, so actually, um, I mean, and, and Lo, I want to respect your space. Uh, I don't want to take this in a political direction. Hmm. You don't, you don't want to take it there. Um, but the fact, the fact remains, Shaggy, that what he was talking about, he was talking about good people who were walking through the streets of Charlottesville yeah. saying Jews will not replace us. Yeah, that's not he was talking. You know, he he and I just said. There's no walking that back, Red. There's no walking that back. Yeah, but you didn't listen to the whole thing I said. (laughs) Yes, I did. I did. I saw the tweet when he did it. I know what you're talking about, but unfortunately, you know his qualifier doesn't qualify. Why? Okay. There's no because he was talking about people who were walking, who were who basically had had a racist march. No, not. And he's talking about people who ran over a young woman. No, no. Alive, a young woman. No, you you made so that Shaggy, up. I, I got a, I got no a question for you, Shaggy. Yeah, go ahead. A, a quick question. Go ahead. Shaggy. Yep. Just, just imagine you were you were there. Just yep. imagine you were there walking down the street, and all of a sudden, uh, some guys with some tiki talk just uh, uh, just started walking around and saying, uh, you know, blah 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 will not replace us. What would you have done? Uh, no, no. Let, let me let me say it this way. What did the people do when they saw these people? The good people. What did the good people do when they saw these bad people walking down the street with tiki torches? What did the good people do? I don't. Uh, I don't know, but I think everyone acknowledged no, that those. The question. Let me. Let me. Let me. Go ahead. The yeah. 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 You. They did absolutely nothing. Oh, I, I don't know. I wasn't there, so I don't know. Nothing. Yeah, I don't. I wasn't there, so they I don't did, know. They did absolutely nothing. So does did, that did make you go? The good people still good did you go? People? Does that make the good people? No, still because good I think people? there was like a riot there. Weren't there people pushing back against that crowd, and especially once that no, poor woman was was, was run over? There was not. Oh, there. Oh, okay. No, I didn't know that. Okay. Those people who were pushing back were the people who were were in opposition of their views, not the same people that you know. Hey, we we agree on on fifty percent of this, but we don't like what you're doing. It, it's same thing like you. Walking around with fresh and fit, you know. I don't listen to them. Um, I, I, I made fun of them. No, no, no. I, I'm just giving the analogy okay. of what you, who you are. The red pill is, let's just say, red pill is Republican values, right? And, and the, let's just say that you are Republican and you like Republican values, right? But you got fresh and fit coming over here, the radical part of the Republican Party, and you are the 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 good person of the of that party, and you do no, nothing about it. That is the equivalent of you being a red pill, which you consider the good parts of it, still letting uh, uh, this, 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 um, these, these idiots fresh and fit still uh, cohabitate with you, still being in your space, still using your your terminology, your your um, using your classification as red pill, and you're doing absolutely nothing about keeping your space clean. No, well, well, if I can respond, um, there is such, in, such a thing called free speech. So people are allowed to exercise that speech, even if I don't like it. Um, that, that, and that, you that, have free speech too. Yeah, of course. I didn't say you couldn't. You have free yeah. speech to come against it. Yeah, of course. I, and I, and I do. I talk, I talk badly but about fresh and you fit don't. all the time. Huh? You don't. How do you know? You don't know me. Because they still exist. Yeah, okay, so yeah, but... Yes, because they make shitloads of money. I don't. I can disagree with them and say they're a bunch of clowns, and I and say yes. people don't follow them because I think they're they're you false gods. It. You know, you like they're they're you awful. Only do it in this space. You you only do it in this space. That's why they still exist. What am I supposed? To, what would be your solution to it? What would what would someone like me well, do to to get rid of them? Hey guys, you know, let's go to where the the, the good part of the Red Pill Society teaches people some good things about themselves and let's go cut these people out out of our picture because they're giving us a bad look what is cut let's just focus on ourselves because this is that this has done so much good for us 
we cannot be be um be um uh, rolled in together with these with these uh, poisonous people over here that's giving us a bad look. We need to keep this thing going for us because it's done so much for me. I do so this all we need the to time. Make sure that this thing keeps a good look. I keeps do this. A good face. Yeah. But what, what are you doing? You, you're letting you letting you letting the, the 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 face of it go to to crap. And no. That's why we're here today with this with this red you know attention getting uh looks of these pills sitting out here to show you just how toxic this red pill uh movement has become. Part of the I think part of the red pill re- reality here is telling people that fresh and fit are a bunch of frauds. Um, they do the same thing. They do the same thing the other side does. Um, again, you don't know me. You don't know what I do. My TikTok feed is not indicative of anything that I do online. I spend a lot of time. You, listen, 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 let me just respond. I spend a lot of time. I just, I just want to make a quick clarification. When I say you, I'm not speaking to you. I'm talking to the pejorative you, the people who are just like you in the same position and, and, and mindset as you. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the, 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 the totality of the people that are like you that's in this movement are doing absolutely nothing to, to, to clean it up. I, I think there's a lot more people than you realize doing it. In the, in the circles that I run in through YouTube, there's a lot of people speaking out about this who are rational. There's some who are more extreme than others, um, but there's a lot who, who spent their, their, their entire life um, identifying and voting Democrat, um, and, and now they, are, they, they won't. Or they, they, look at, uh, they look at these candidates, whether it's political or otherwise, and think they're a bunch of frauds. And they do. They condemn people like Fresh and Fit because they're bad for culture. They're bad for the broader culture of people because ultimately, red pilling is about waking up to reality, like what's actually happening all around you, not what some loser millionaire says from you know, his, his giant man- mansion. Um, but you know the yeah we know it we know where it came from we know where it came from yeah it came from the alt right community that 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 thinking that hey people are trying to take their dominance away from them and they want you to think that hey somebody's taking your dominance away from you and yeah they're gonna give the pretty picture hey this is self improvement but behind the scenes the real finesse is they want you to take take your dominance back to the to, to the to the level that it was before because it's getting down to the point where things are getting kind of shaky and hey we need to pull off the we need to pull off the um the, the sheep's clothing here and be the true wolves that we are um so so the shag real yep. quick real quick yep go ahead red go ahead red go ahead red so well i mean yeah i was just so i just wanted to ask it's like so because i have i have no problem with like with with you know being inquisitive about the world right and questioning you know and and questioning things that are presented to you but it's like but that's not what the red pill movement is is really about it claims to be about that but that's but where does the hyper where does the freaking hyper masculinity come from where what is the what is the whole focus on on male dominance where does that why does it jump the rail I, I think because, it's, oh, sorry. Sorry. Well, I mean, no, go ahead. I was just basically finished. I was, I, go ahead. I just, I think it has to do with um, people jumping back to um, traditional like conservatism and how like a lot of history has been led by, by men. I mean, you know, it's not meant to put women down. It's just to say that in a lot of ways, men are, um, men can be stronger than women physically. Um, me personally, I just believe it's a it's sort of a yin and yang thing. I think women and men come together to form a pretty awesome team. But uh, men, by and large, has have built the pillars of society in in many ways. It's really hard to argue that. Um, so I think, I think it kind of harkens back to that, where you know these red pillars, you, you know, mainly these big ones like Andrew Tate and Fresh and Fit and those guys will, will, will kind of push that message. I think. If, if I were to guess, I would say the average like conservative is just sort of on the page of like, I'm going to take care of my family, pass down great values to my son or daughter, and so they can raise a good family and show them how to lead. And I'm also going to lead with my wife, who is a wonderful, awesome, powerful woman. Like I, 
I, you know, it's, I mean, it's easy to say that all these red pillars are saying, you know, fuck everyone, men are, men are these super, um, super strong. Like we, that's all we need to do. And just kind of like push everyone over and be bullies. Like it's, it's a little bit of everything. And I don't think people are, I think internet culture and TikTok culture has made it. So we don't see the nuance and in, in all these things that we say, because I, I do believe that it is important to be strong. It is important to be formidable, protect your family, be an alpha to some extent, but also we need to respect, you know, the boundaries of others and, you know, the people we love. And like I said, pass on good value. So, so let me, so let me ask you about that. You said be an alpha. So what is, so when you say that, can you break that down for me? What is it when you say be an alpha? Be a leader, you know, be, be someone who's willing to step up when you need to um, and not sit back and, and wait for things to just sort of come. Um, you, and, you, and you understand what, sorry, go ahead. I'm, no, that was it. That was good. You're good. So, so, but, so do you want, so you know about where that term came from, right? Out about, about being an alpha, the alpha male, you know, where that came, you know, where that came from. Yeah, I'm sure. It, I mean, it spawns from like the animal kingdom, you know, I don't, I don't see. Right. It, 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 it came, it, it was, it was, it came about in the uh, early seventies from a guy, uh, uh, observing, observing facts. And then he spent the rest of his career uh, uh, debunking that because he found that later, that's not how wolf packs behave at all. Wolf packs are simply just family groups. And it's, and there is no, there is no alpha. There is no alpha in the group. It's just based on who's the older wolf, right? That's, that's leading. It's usually a parent, a, you know, grandparents, that that kind of thing. And he has spent the rest of his career trying to debunk that because he let loose something on on popular culture that, he, in his own words, did nothing but damage. So so I, I invite you to to possibly re-examine that. Um, yeah, I don't I don't have so, a problem looking that over. That's that's I mean that's fine. I mean I don't. It's not a. But I don't think it's harmful to say that. To, to anyone and to to be if if we're if we're going to use the term alpha male or whatever i don't find it to be bad it is it is good to be assertive it is good but it's also good to know your boundaries right again this is the stuff i'm talking about with like understanding like a little bit of nuance with all of it um it's it's good to know when to be the alpha it's good to know when to to take your turn maybe you know you could say when to be the beta whatever um if you want to use those terms um, but like, I, I don't find a, an issue with that because it's knowing how to carry yourself in certain situations. It, 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 it hardly seems controversial to me. Okay, Shag. So with, with all that being said, hmm. what does all of what you said have to do with what, with how women are being treated in society today? Well, I don't think there's probably been a better time for women to exist quite honestly, but, um, I don't know. What are you speaking to specifically? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Whoa, whoa. Just, just a quick second. I, I want, I, I'd love for, you know, when you make a statement, at least do a drill down on why you said what you just said. You said this is the best, the best time for a woman. Kind of, kind of explain why you, why you say that. Well, there's been, never been more opportunities for, for men and women. I mean, there's, I mean, but it, when it comes to equal rights, suffrage, uh, all that stuff is like, I mean, women have the right to vote. Uh, they can, they are making just as much as men. Uh, they are, there's so many career opportunities. Now there's, there's, um, DEI initiatives to get them hired over other demographics. Like, I mean, quite honestly, like it's, it, like I said, it's, it's one of the better times to be a woman. I think well, there's that gentlemen, there's that information again, that women, there's that misinformation that women are making just as much as men. That is not true. That is not true at all. Forbes confirms that women, on average, make sixteen percent less than men. If you take, they're, 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 they're sorry, one second, but it's like, good. and and just like low, uh, low, uh, it's like women are not in the in the uh, they're not in the corporate hierarchy. There's there's definitely a dirt. So it's there might not, be a reason it is for not that. Not equal. It's it's. Why? I don't, I don't know, but there. I mean, you could maybe you could pull women on why that is, but when you, li, but uh, when you listen, yeah, but the, anything else? Real that, quick, can I respond I to mean, the? Anything else that's, 
let me just respond to what he said about income. So when you break down average like wage, they, they've already debunked this, by the way. Um, when you break down the average wage of men and women, you do get a disparity, but that's not what we're talking about. When you take pound for pound job and qualification, they are paid nearly the same. Like it's within pennies. Like it's not, it's, it's a negligible, the difference. But if you take average, then yes, because men and women do different jobs. That's why. Okay. Uh, so uh, uh, hold on, hold on. Hmm? Before we even go any further, I'm going to bring this same question to that Shag, Shags, yeah. as I brought to the man's world. Shag, yeah. what is the percentage of women in the top, I'm going to say top 500 Forbes list? What are the percentage of the women? Oh, I'm sure that it's are so low. I'm, I'm sure it's so low. I don't, I, so I don't even know, maybe 5%. How, okay, so then again, how is it equal or even coming to the same level as the men? Are they, but are, are equal amounts of women going for those jobs is the question. You know what I mean? Like, so okay. it, it could okay. come down okay. to it. Uh, it's the glass ceiling. It's, it's the titanium no, ceiling. No. Do you think no woman aspires to be, uh, be a board member or a CEO? I'm sure there's a, some. Yeah. Yeah. But right. they're not given the opportunity. There is, it's just the, a no, white there is the opportunity. There is the opportunity, it's the opportunity but it's not being given sir? to them. It's I'm given sorry, to that's... lesser people. No, I'm and that's men. That was funny. I'm sure there's some. <laughs> I'm sure <laughs> there are. That was funny. I well, it's just the way you said it. It's like, yeah, I'm sure there are some women who want to, you know, who would like a golden parachute and you know, and would like the pay raise. Some, some. Oh, I can't hear him. And you know, the, the fact that there aren't all of them that aspire that is just because of the, the, the mental, um, the mental uh, finesse that's been put on people where, hey, uh, every, every, every one, well, most women out there say, hey, uh, yeah, when I go, when I go, uh, go in and, you know, take a walk by the, 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 um, the boardroom during that meetings, I see this big sea of white men. Yeah, I, I don't think my chances are good there. So they may not they may not put forth the energy to 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 try to get there, but if they if they saw a, a nice sizable uh, number of, of of diversity inside of those boardrooms, maybe they would have the the um the the motivation to yeah to, to pursue it hard. But do you see do you see the mental finesse that happens when people see these um these 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 pictures right the pictures in their head when they see you know on the Senate floor or in the house or wherever, they see this big sea of white men. What, 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 what thoughts will you get if you are a minority or someone who's, who's, uh, who's not in that, in that group? What, what's gonna be your thought when you see that? So you don't want it is, I guess, I guess it sounds like the woman or the, or you don't want the job because there might be something in your way. I don't, I don't understand your argument now. Like if okay, you want something, so you, you want it and you go you. for it. You don't let things like, Oh, there's, there I, I happens know. to be, I, there happens to be men in a room. Like that's, that's nothing. So, so, so basically you're saying, so basically you're saying right now, Shags is that women don't want to be in these positions. Yes. I, I think that a lot of I times have, I have yet, I have yet to hear you say that men are not allowing them to get in, get into these positions. I I don't think that's the case. Men are not allowing them. I don't. So that doesn't. I don't know. I don't think that's happening. It's not to say that it doesn't happen. I'm sure there are some really like like assholes out there who are you know that don't. Here we go with that. Get red. There it is again. What? Yeah, there it is again. But it, no. So, so Wait, there's so what? Can you drill down on that for me? There's what? So that misinformation Shags, well let me ask you something you wait, said you wait, don't wait. Put, what you misinformation said, no, 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 let's, let's on, finish the on. let's finish what your your thought well, no, what let, what's yeah, being i agree let's finish this so okay. so you said you said that you don't believe there are women going for those positions am i correct yeah there's definitely i mean I what's her name kathleen know. kennedy like runs disney right now so i don't know what the hell any of your or star wars at disney so so i mean and there's uh, another What's her name? The acolyte why is another you, woman why showrunner. Why do you bring her up? Why do you, why do you bring her up? Because I'm it's curious. a woman in a very, very powerful position. She's running an entire one like, out of how many companies? No, well, wait a minute. No, like one of the biggest second, companies guys. on the planet. 
Right. So, so, but it's interesting you bring her up. Well, so she's not valuable, apparently. What's that? It doesn't seem like that woman's important enough to talk about. But no, but the reason, no, you brought her up. So, so, so what's your opinion about her? Kathleen Kennedy? I don't yeah. like, I don't like what she's done to, um, to the franchise of the decisions they've made, I think have really cost Star Wars a lot. I think the narrative storytelling is awful, unfortunately. I think they're just trying to put out product. Really? Yeah. Really? I mean, yeah, and I mean, that's. So, so, yeah. So, no, that's, that I, I, yeah, I, I, uh, I'm, I'm clocking you. I'm clocking with that. So, so, uh, yeah. So do you think, so do you think if Lucas had maintained control over the franchise, do you think you, do you think that franchise would be anywhere now? Um, I don't know. It's, it's hard to, it's hard to, to do that the hypothetical because, no. because, the uh, yeah, the answer, the answer is actually no, because, because if you follow this, cause I'm a, I'm a geek like that. Right. It's it. Lucas was actually leaving, was going to leave the franchise. All the things you have, this yeah. franchise has never been more vibrant right, than right now because of Kathleen Kennedy, because of Vibrant? Disney. Excellent. It's, right? You think it's it, excellent? It's never been more active. It's never been more active, vibrant, alive. Just because you I take lots of me? shits doesn't mean it's good. <laughs> Yeah, exactly and, 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 and uh, guys, this is the reason why, guys, this is the reason why I'm going down this track. Yeah. This franchise that he's mentioning is a big, it's a big hub for red pillars, right? And toxic masculinity. Toxic right. this, masculinity? This particular franchise is a huge hub for toxic masculinity. Really? Right? You know how many women because, I know who hate modern they, Star Wars? They think it's, a, they think it's uh, patronizing and stupid. No, no. Women do. Right. Women. That's why you hate it. The reason why you hate it, Shagworth, is because is because you're afraid of a female lead character who yeah. doesn't need a man to come and rescue nah. her. Uh, we're, what notes That's are you exactly reading off of, dude? Are you have someone's That's shit Twitter exactly stream up or something? What, what in the hell? No, that's exactly <laughs> what it is. <laughs> no, it's right? not. Because so, there's so, been strong so females in, so, in, so in cinema, my point, like throughout history. My point, Shagworth, you mentioned that women, women don't want those jobs. What are you basing that on? What, um, what what factual information are you basing that on? Yeah, <laughs> the, the same. <laughs> and there, there's. I'll take that as you have none. I, I don't have. I don't have. The, I don't have the source in front of me. You're right. Just like yeah. There you go. Yep. Yeah, you have none. You you're right. There is none. You're right. You got me. You the, only source is some, the only source is something that you're gonna pull out of your butt. That's it. That's right. That's that's just that's just you. That's just you and the red pill movement. You have no evidence to back that claim up. Women don't work Nothing. the jobs, man. They're 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 doing other jobs. They're work. They're uh, in other aspects okay, of the workforce. Right, Again, right, it Shags, doesn't mean see, see, it doesn't I mean see. they don't want Shags, to aspire Shags, to that. Shags, hold on, hold on, yeah. hold on, ahead, hold on, hold on, hold on. Real quick, I need to do some uh, administrative work. Uh, please, if you liking what you're hearing, tap the screen. Just tap, tap, tap. Also, uh, gas by real quick. How am I able? It's not allowing me to add other people to the conversation. It's not. It won't like. I want Rocksteady to come up here, um, and and maybe other men to come up. I, actually, low. I need to drop down so I can make room. Yeah, I don't know why it's not allowing me to add more people. Uh, I think I can. Wait a minute. It's allowing me to add women, but it won't allow me to add men. That's funny. <laughs> I don't see any. Well, I don't see any. <laughs> I, 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 well, I'm guessing it might be time to allow the women to come up. I'm guessing. Is this is what TikTok hey, is they're telling They're on you? the front lines. <laughs> they're on the front lines. They're at ground zero of all this. Let's yeah. hear from them. But I just I just went through the the list and I don't see half the men that I see in the comments on the on the queue or list, but I'm seeing all the women. So I might. I might have to get a couple women to come up here. I would hope he brings a couple women up here. He's talking about how great women are and how they want all these men. positions. Oh, there's Nacho. Okay, Nacho Duke can come up. Thank you, Nacho Duke, for, for doing that. Um, uh, Rocksteady, if you can, uh, request to come up, please. Uh, hey, uh, so, gentlemen, I, I need to drop. Uh, but, Shagsworth, I, I just want to say I, I, I do appreciate you being up here, man. 
Yeah, no, thanks for letting me come yes. up. Yeah. Yes, the Shags. Yes, I appreciate you for being I appreciate you for not getting uh, over emotional <laughs> and, like and not being able to talk <laughs> and, and, and handle the questions that are being thrown at you. I appreciate you for that. Yep. Thank you for coming up here. Um, Have a good day. I know you. these talks. Thank you, Red. Red, thank you. Uh, and I'll be sending you a message uh, soon. Um, I just want to say, okay, so to everybody, I want to do this real quick. To everybody that's here, thank you for coming in. Thank you for being here and listening. I really appreciate you. Uh, I really appreciate the ladies that are coming in and having questions in the comments. Today, I'm trying to keep it about, you know, uh, about the men and how we can have, like, some kind of conversation. These things can get uh, frustrating, and we need to hash these things out. And this is what I want to do. This is what Gaslight, I know he wants to do. He wants to talk with men just to get an idea of where they're coming from, why they're so stuck with not listening to women, not hearing them out, downplaying them, being violent, being, you know, not allowing them to speak and all of that good stuff. So uh, I really appreciate you guys for being here. Um, Rocksteady, please, if you guys, if you're in the queue, uh, Billy Goat, thank you for being coming up. Nacho, I'll get you up here too. Nacho. What's up? What's up? What say you? Uh, I want to know what the red pill theory is. I'm not. I'm not sure if I, I just keep hearing like a lot of conspiracies. Really, I don't know what it actually is. Well, tell us what you what you've heard so far. Um, I I just keep hearing a lot of conspiracy uh, conspiracy theories like defending Trump. Really. So that's why I don't I don't really know what it is. I'm muted right now. It feels now, so. like it's geared towards a political thing, but like I said, I don't I don't know what it is. I, I'm confused. Well, okay, have you quick. seen the movie Matrix? Yeah, I know I've seen the movie Matrix, but like I get that they're trying to say that there's like a lot of false reality and stuff, but like it just feels like it's geared towards a political end. Like like they're trying to to unprove or disprove a lot of things that have been proven. So, so, so number one, you can uh, get a chance. You can go look up Andrew Tate and see what he's talking about as far as Red Pill is concerned. Um, if you've seen the movie The Matrix, if you haven't seen it, I suggest you go watch the very first one. Um, no, I've seen, I've seen, character. I've seen The Matrix. I've seen okay, all so, of so then you know what uh, Morpheus is talking about when he's talking about the red pill and the blue pill. One you yeah. take to stay, uh, to get out. One you take to stay in. So, right. What happened was that there's men out here using that as if uh, it's going to help them be a stronger, from what I'm getting, it's helping them be stronger in themselves, but also what's happening is they're downing women in the same sense. They're, it doesn't feel like they're just downing women either. It feels like they're downing women that even try to like speak up for, for women. Right. What do they call them, like, like NPCs? So, yeah. Yeah. How is how is that beneficial though? Because like, you need a woman to procreate. So how would downplaying a vital role in in procreation benefiting? Red pillars aren't at doing all. that. Nacho, you 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 Nacho, you you asking too many uh, sensible questions. You you need to quit that. I'm sorry, but no no I'll, person I'll try that to, I I'll try to dumb myself. <laughs> no person that I know who consider themselves like right wing conservative red pill or whatever is is downplaying the role of women. If anything. A lot of them are celebrating huh? what it is to be a woman, and and no. or like or just being. No, I'm you sorry, right wing aren't Shag. downplaying women. I have to disagree with you. No, I'm not oh, saying you I are. I'm just saying. You, what? I, I, no, I, I didn't say. Hold on, hold on, everybody. I have to disagree with you, Shag. The reason why I'm disagreeing with you is I didn't really want to make this political or talk political. I didn't even want to bring Trump into this because I don't like speaking about him. He's he's a very sensitive issue with. Uh, for me, I don't like him, so that's just that. Um, but, but in the sense of Roe v. Wade, yeah, being overturned, mm -hmm. Shags, how do you feel about that? I think that the idea of getting the government out of decisions is a smart idea. Returning power to the states to make their own choices in the matter is is much more sensible. Uh, so what they do with that is up to them. Um, I don't necessarily. Just uh, agree with the 
recent re legislation, I think it was in Alabama, I think went way too far. But again, the federal government should not be stepping in on your behalf to tell you like how to live your life. If the state is a totally different thing. The federal government has way too much power, so I'm all for limiting Why that Why is power. the state different than the okay, government? Okay, hold on, hold on. Be because hold the state on, is on, working. On, it is different. It's a better representation now, of on, what- of so, so you feel, so you, so Shag, you feel it's okay to control what women do with their body. No. Who said that? You did. Okay. No, I didn't. So basically, you're, hold you on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> basically, you went saying from the federal, you went from saying the federal shouldn't have control yeah. to the state having some control. Well, no, they why should. Why should the state have control? Hold on. Yeah, hold yeah. on. Yeah, why sorry. should the state have any control over a woman's body? Well, no one's controlling the woman's body. Um, they're protecting. <laughs> what? what? Stop. Just stop there. Do you, do you want me to? Sorry, so you don't I want me to answer? You off. With the fact, with the fact that Roe v. Wade was overturned. Right. The fact that Roe v. Wade was overturned. That so here's here's in of itself. Let me let me really break the down because this the is fact turning. That my little sister. Hang on, hang on. Because the, the fact that my little sister had to carry her her dead son in her stomach until term. He, because we live here in Texas. I mean that that kind of disproves everything that you're talking about, man. I don't I don't know anything about your family. Mm. I, that, that sounds awful. Uh, mm. Hopefully your dad got what he deserved. Hopefully they shot him into the sun. Oh really? My dad. So you isn't that what you just said? Didn't you say you wow. carried your your was dad's? That, was, was... Didn't you say your sister? No, just I said her dead baby. I said dead. Oh, I thought you said your dad. Okay, I thought you were saying something else, bro. Relax. We gotta say, hey, Nacho, we gotta use unalive. Okay, don't yeah, yeah. give me bad, unalive. Please. I'm sorry. Yeah, unalive. I did. So that that was unalive, two things bro. that was really confusing. Little, I, I got a little triggered there. That's my fault. I'm sorry. Yeah, dude. No, I'm trying to talk about this sensibly. I I just like so. The, I don't, again, I don't know anything about that specific situation and I don't know much about Texas. What I can say is that I don't, there should be no control over anyone's body. Um, when it comes to the pro-life okay. argument, I am of the opinion that government should be, should not be involved with it and that people should start understanding that from the very first moment of fertilization, that that is a person that will become a person. And if I think people followed that logic, we would have a much, much um, different society. It's a cultural issue that we okay, are. Okay, so that, that's, not, that's, that's not where I wanted to go with this, okay? Because we're still speaking on women's bodies, and we shouldn't be, point blank yeah. and period. We should not be. Well, we I don't. We should not be speaking on what, oh, no, 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 no. Okay. We should not be speaking on what someone can do with their body, period. It doesn't matter from conception to up to what is it, three, four months, whatever. It doesn't matter. We should not be speaking on the woman's choice to do whatever they want with their body. What am I? Period. Okay, what am I? That's, it's done. No, 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 no. I, I, no, I'm not doing this no more. We're not speaking on that. Oh, okay. I'm done with that conversation. Right. We're not speaking Look on women's I... bodies. They are, they should have total control of whatever they want to do with their body. Can I, can I change the topic? Yeah, yeah fine. Uh, yes. Um, uh, Shag, you said something earlier. You were saying that, you know, being an Apple male and being, uh, you know, take care of your family and blah, blah, blah. Sure. Um, what, uh, what's, what's the women role in, in America? Uh, I think it's, I think it, I, I don't know if you could like really classify the the mother. So I actually, I heard something recently that the summarized this so well, I think the mother's job in the family is the nurturer. They're the inward facing with the child. They are there to provide sustenance, to nurture them, to make them feel comfort. Um, and I think the dad's role is very similar in that it, it requires them to be the alpha in, in that they are, um, they are also nurturers, but in a different way. They are an outward facing nurturer. So they are there to point the kids at the world and, and let them know this is what the world looks like. It is tough, it is dangerous, but we are here to protect you. And, the, and, and it kind of goes circular like that, like where the mom comes back, dad comes back. You know, it's a, 
it's really it's a it it, it both play on each other really symbiotically i'm sorry but that's not even what he asked he asked about the dynamic between a husband and a wife what is the wife's job he didn't ask about children well i know what mothers he... or father you don't have to be a mother or a father to be a wife and a husband true so mm-hmm. what what is the what is the role of the woman in the in the uh i think it just depends in the marriage i think it just depends um it depends on those two people it's i think by and large it like uh, i think many times over 50 percent um of the time the the wife is sort of the uh i mean she def- kind of defaults to this sort of traditional role of you know caring for the home maybe she like takes care of the bills and then the the dad is doing you know he's going out and maybe working a more manual labor job staying out a little bit later um but it's not always the case i mean it but I would say a lot of times that is what the role is. And I don't think that's bad at all. I don't, I wouldn't look down on anyone for doing that role or even having them flip flop. So if you, let's, let's say you're in, are you married? Yes, I am. Two kids. So could you, could you kind of describe your, your relationship with your wife or what y'all try to practice? We, we do like she, I mean, we have two kids, so it's, it's kind of harder to, I mean, we kind of practice what I was saying, you know, like it's, she, I mean, she does, she manages like money and stuff. And, um, I'm a, you know, I do project management for a construction company. So I'm out, uh, currently my schedule requires me to be home a little bit earlier. So I have to like get the kids and stuff like that. Um, but it, it's, it's a very symbiotic kind of balanced relationship that we have. Um, both of us are pretty, pretty hard headed at times. So I think we both have that like alpha personality. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean that's pretty much our, our yeah. dynamic. Yeah, I was just curious. Yeah, that's what I just think. I do think too that it, there's there's so many different variables in 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 what how couples can act and how they can be uh, uh, like together. And there it, even within that, it's so I don't think there's any one right way, but I think there is a, a dynamic that works pretty well. Um, but I think having a partner, one that complements you, is is super important. Where do you think those gender roles come from? I just think, I mean, through history, you know, being where we came from, um, you know, men being just a little bit, you know, physically stronger most of the time, uh, not always, um, most of the time just sort of required that. And I think we always sought out that mate. We always sought out someone that we knew um, could complement us, that could could make us stronger, that could make our gene pool better. Um, I think I think we've I think we've done a poor job at that, and I don't know if it's anyone's fault other than advancements in technology um, that made connection easier. Whereas before, you either found that person and procreated, or you died out and your genes did not pass on. So I just think it was a product of where we've been in the past and the hardships we've had to overcome. So what? A, so a relationship is the most important thing is procreation. Well, I mean, I mean, if you want your family lineage to to go on yeah i mean i think i think it gives i think it gives uh humans purpose mammals purpose you know it it gives us like what are we here to do well um like i could just live my whole life by myself and do whatever the heck i want go to vegas every weekend and have fun or i could choose to that difficult path of having a family and and impart values on a child uh teach them uh things that i believe are important and they can do that to their place they you know on it goes i mean we are every single person here in this life is a product of struggle of a is a product of um hardship that overcame generations like i mean farther back than we can even fathom so that says a lot and i think upholding that and teaching kids the value in that is is the purpose of of life as a person like what i should be doing as a couple you could do it you you could live your whole life as no you know without doing all that. But I think you would be at, at the end, you would be sad. Very, very sad. Yeah. Right. I, I don't know. Do you have kids? I have a stepson. Yeah. See, when you have, when you have biological children, I think it's different. I think you see the, um, when it's you, when it's yours, it's, it's a totally different, uh, scenario, but I'm sure you can still appreciate, I mean, passing well, on something to question, someone else. The question that I ask you is, um, you know, I was kind of looking from, from where where these values come from as far as gender roles. And, and what the the path that I wanted to lead on that is, where's the genesis of it, the, the path that told you 
or, or that gives you the um the the normal the normality that men are uh leaders of the family that men are somewhat the uh, the decision makers and uh the, the men are um you know somewhat uh, a step above above the woman and the fact that she is quote unquote the the giver of, of life mm-hmm. and and all of the things that that she does how how does how does that bode well with the um with the gender roles and the, and just the the family nuclear structure that we have today and with all that being said why does society continue to do this uh this downward spiral uh if this is a um a good model to to go with um i think it's i mean i think it spawns back to like i said at the beginning of time i think the i think for a very very long part of our history men have protected women because they do are the ones that give life and by and large we're protected them from who fr- from and what from you know other violent people from from wild animals i mean we you know we, we've lived always in a from violent what's so hard with hey shags what's so hard with you saying other men well you i mean because not keep skating over that being other okay men, other men because that, that's if, the only thing that women that's the only thing that women need to be protected from is men no other women there's some pretty violent shitty women out there too i don't know if you know this well we're not on that and we're not going to speak about that i wasn't speaking about it you stopped me from my explanation to tell me that men were all bad weirdo hold on hold on gas no but i was i was talking about i was talking about like gonna go so you're 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 gonna play tit for tat we're not gonna stick with just men but because i said all men now you're going to try and bring women into it? You're, is, that the, is that the conversation you brought you're in? Have? No, you're the one who have? wanted to clarify this. So I'm telling you, it's not all men. It's also women. I didn't think so. Because the one thing that I do know is that since men claim to run the world and are the most of the, they've done most of the creating, they are the ones telling women what to do. Women aren't, the statistics don't say women are unaliving women. The statistics. The, the statistics says men are unaliving women. So stop that. All right. If that stop it. Do you feel better now? Can I continue with what I was what I was answering his question? It's manly men, sir. With what I was what I was answering his question. Wow. It's manly. What a fucking beta ass bitch. Just kick me from the live. Just kick me from the live. What a beta, dude. These guys are sitting there. And I can't, they're asking me to answer a question. Then the guy stops me, stops me mid sentence to, to put in his own editorial about how all men are bad. And then when I say, yeah, well, yeah, men are pretty shitty, but there's also some pretty shitty women out there too. Oh, oh my God. There's the fucking line. There's the line.